Namaste beautiful yogis. This is going to be a moderate to high intensity power yoga class. Vinyasa flow with elements of interval training. Let's begin at the front of our mat. Feet together. Open your arms out to the sides, palms facing forward. Drop the shoulders back and down. Chin parallel to the floor. Lifting the kneecaps up. As you exhale, allow your feet to sink through your mat. As you inhale, open the chest, vibrant. Let's open the arms out to the sides, drop the shoulders down. Big breath in and let's bring the hands all the way over the head. Relaxing the shoulders, extending the tailbone down. Inhale, open your arms out and down to the sides. And let's bring the right foot into the left thigh or you can bring your right foot into your left calf. Open the knee out to the side, extend your tailbone down, press your thigh into your foot and hold the tree pose. You can close your eyes for a moment slowly coming out of it and switching sides left knee into the right thigh eyes closed or open bringing the breath into the focus of this vinyasa and step your foot back down Inhale your hands all the way over your head and let's grab the right wrist with the left hand. Keep your elbows back in the same line with your ears and reach up and over your head in a side twist. Switching sides, really lengthening. Find a lot of length along your torso. And coming back up, let's go one more time. Right hand reaches up and over, palm of the hand facing down, shoulders down, you can look up. Keep your left elbow back, keep your tailbone extended down. Inhale, lift and lengthen over to the other side. Trying to keep both sides of your torso lengthening here. Feet are equally sinking into your mat and let's inhale the hands over the head, exhale, folding forward in a forward bend. You can keep your knees slightly bent and let's clasp the fingers and bring the hands on the back of the head, allowing the upper body to hang heavy. Allowing the neck to stretch, allowing the shoulders to relax. Inhale, lift, look ahead of you. And with a straight back, come all the way up to standing, reaching over the head and over the heart. Big breath in, hands over the head. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look ahead of you, flat back. And let's bring the hands on the floor, step back into plank. Holding a nice strong plank, press your heels towards the back of the room. Keep your chest open and let's go into side plank, right hand on the floor, right shoulder over the wrist, reach in front of you, still in side plank, bring your hand back down on the floor in plank, and over to the other side, left wrist under the left shoulder, reach over your head with your right hand, and reach towards the front of the room. 
I'm just putting both hands on the floor. Plank. And one more time. Right hand on the floor, the left arm reaches over. Reach in front of you. This time bring your hips parallel to the floor. Level with the floor, reach in front of you with your left arm. Keep your hips steady and lower down. Switching sides, right arm reaches up. Keep your hips lifted. And let's reach up and over the head. Level your hips with the floor and reach with your right arm in front of you. And release your hand on the floor. Lower down Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Back to Chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. And let's step the feet between the hands. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, look ahead of you. Hands on the shins. Exhale. One more time, bow down. Inhale, flat back, look ahead of you. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, hands on the shin bones, look ahead of you, and this time come all the way up to standing. Hands over the heart. And take a big, nice breath in, hands over the head, exhale, lower down, all the way on the floor. Inhale, look ahead of you. Step back into plank. Inner thighs are squeezing towards the midline, spread the fingers wide open and let's take side plank, right hand on the floor, left arm reaches up, you can look up. Next level is to bring your left foot into your right inner thigh, first side plank with three pose. And you can reach with your hand in front of you. Lower your hand on the floor, stay in three pose if you can. In thick plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, still holding three if you can. And back to chaturanga, exhale downward facing dog, still holding three. And you can release your foot back down on the floor bring the top part of your foot toes on the floor to stretch your foot and let's cross the left foot in front of the right one walk your hands to the back of your mat and stay in a forward fold for a few breaths and let's walk the hands to the front of the mat and cross your feet step in downward facing dog and let's take plank, side plank over to the other side, left hand on the floor, reach with your right hand all the way over your head, and let's bring the right foot into the left inner thigh, three pose side plank, lift your hips high, Keep your belly in, connection of the foot with the inner thigh is active, reach with your right hand over your head, still keeping the hips lifted, lower down, three pose plank, three pose chaturanga, do your best, three pose upward facing dog, three pose and back to chaturanga and back to downward facing dog and release good job and let's stretch the toes on the right side bringing the toes down on the floor and now let's cross the right foot in front of the left foot 
and walk the hands back to the end of the mat holding a forward bend you can take both hands around your ankles or you can keep them on the floor for balance breathe into your hamstrings this is targeting the stretch in a little different way and let's walk the hands to the front of the mat coming back into downward facing dog take your right leg up step your right foot between your hands taking high lunge reach ahead of you pull your belly in and keep your chest over your thigh keep your back flat press the back heel away from you and we're gonna bring the hands on the floor in front of us and tuck the knee into the chin five times really pull your belly in as you do that look ahead of you in between each rep and when you're done with your five reps step straight back into high lunge and reach your, reach your hand over your head let's clasp the hands and reach over to the right side getting a nice stretch in the hip flexors so us and let's come out of this open your arms out and twist over to your right side we're gonna drop one hand the right hand down on the left leg and reach with your left hand up towards the sky slowly coming out of this hands on the floor step back plank lower down chaturanga inhale upward facing dog roll the shoulders back and down back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog spread your fingers wide open pull your belly in and up with yana bandha and let's take the left leg up step your left foot between your hands lunge you're gonna reach way ahead of you press the back heel away from you always be aware of your back leg we tend to think about the leg that's in front of us think about both legs and let's bring the hands on the floor and do five knee tucks here round your back as you do that and really pull draw your navel in as you bring your knee in when you're done with your five reps you can go straight back into high lunge and let's reach with the hands all the way over the head clasp your hands reach over to your left side stretch extend your tailbone down and really breathe into your obliques hip flexors here open your arms out twist to your left and let's drop the left hand on the right leg the back of the right leg reach with your right arm up and over and breathe you can look up here the sun is blazing so I couldn't look up and let's reach over the head exhale hands on the floor step into plank lower down chaturanga inhale upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog pull your belly in and up walking in place here tailbone is reaching high shoulders away from the ears try not to hyperextend your elbows here if you tend to do that and let's inhale the right leg up and bring it across from your body trying to keep your hips square bring your leg back to center and let's open the right foot all the way to the right lift it as high as you can keeping the hips square again and come into plank with your leg out to the side lift it up and go all the way back into downward facing dog step your foot back down left leg comes up bring it across flex your foot keep your hips square shoulders square you can point your toes as you flex them point them so that they're pointed down they're directed down 
and let's come out of this and bring the leg all the way to the side using your hip muscles to lift your leg and come into plank leg out to the side and all the way back step it back down downward facing dog inhale right leg comes up roll your right hip on top of your left hip bend your knee drop your foot behind you breathe into your inner thighs hip flexors hamstrings feel looseness feel ease in your body feel fluidity and let's bring the leg back to center and step it between your hands right foot between the hands lunge drop your left hand on the floor right arm reaches up twist and let's bring the right hand up and over the head towards the front of the room press your right hip back as you do that so there is a lot of space between your hip and your shoulder and let's bring both hands on the center in the center of the mat in the inside of the right foot bring your feet together and do five jumps hands are in star alignment the jumps are plank to side plank the side plank is demonstrated it's on the side of the left foot chaturanga feet are still sideways and you can come into normal upward facing dog and back to downward facing dog if you need to do this again and watch it first do that let's take the left leg up lift your left hip on top of your right hip and really try to lift your knee here drop the back foot in behind you and really breathe try to find fluidity back to center square your hips and let's step the left foot between the hands into high lunge drop the right hand on the inside of the left foot twist twisting here try to keep the weight on your feet and on your legs not on your right arm the shoulder should be light here you can extend your left hand in front of you towards the front of the room and find space along the obliques press your hip back hands in star alignment I'm thinking here to stretch my hips slightly before I go into the jumps and now stack your feet on top of each other side plank alignment and just jump them five times to your hands and back breathe and we're gonna bring the hands in chaturanga alignment upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog pull the belly in and up relax your neck relax your face soften your jaw soften your gaze cultivate inner smile corners of the lips are lifted smiling and let's take the right leg up bring the right knee to your right elbow and back second time we're gonna go for five on each side try to really breathe as you bring your knee in towards your elbow and going back out to downward facing dog last one you're gonna bring your right foot on top of the elbow and go into an optional arm balance you will have to stop here and watch it if you are not familiar with this arm balance and jump back to chaturanga and back to downward facing dog let's take the right foot between the hands come up high lunge exhale left elbow on the outside of the right knee open the chest drop the shoulders down exhale soften the belly go deeper open the chest wider relax the shoulders press the back heel away from you firm the front of your thigh the front of your left leg 
As you exhale completely, come out of this twist back to high lunge. Bring the left hand on the floor and roll onto the outer edges of your feet here, coming into a hip opener. You can find sinking or you can find the place where the hips really enjoy it and stay there for a breath. To come out of this, bring your hands on the floor and step back into plank. Moving into a vinyasa, upward facing dog, back to chaturanga, exhale downward facing dog, pull your belly in and up, inner smile, corners of the lips smiling, inhale, left leg comes up, bring your knee in towards your elbow, second time, let's go three times, inhale, extend the leg and as you exhale, bring your knee in and contract your belly. Last one, either hold it here or you can go into the optional arm balance. You can play with it. Have fun with your arm balances. Jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog, back to Chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drawing the navel in. And let's step the left foot between the hands. Come up, high lunge hands in prayer and exhale bring your right elbow on the outside of your left knee coming into a twist work with your breath exhale go deeper into your twist drop your shoulders away from your ears inhale open the chest widen the back lengthen elongate the spine elongating through the crown of the head keep pressing the back heel away from you On the end of your exhalation, come out of this, bring your hands on the inside of your foot, come onto the outer edges of your feet and find the place where it feels good for your hips to get a small stretch. Step it back, plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide open, lifting the hips high. Exhaling through your hamstrings here, deepening your stretch, keeping your heels down. Inhale, right leg comes up. We're gonna go into balancing here, bend your right knee and see if you can grab your right foot with your left hand keep looking at one point that you have chosen in front of you on your mat and hold it for one second or half a second or for a minute however long you can hold the balance switching sides over to the other side Try to keep your mind steady. This is why we do balancing poses in yoga, is to cultivate a calm and peaceful mind. Try not to doubt the pose or the moment. Just keep your mind steady. And let's step the feet down on the floor, coming back into downward facing dog. Drop your knees on the floor. Bring your right hand across from your body, right back of the right shoulder on the floor, the back of the head on the floor, and stretch your shoulder here. You can extend your left arm forward. Inhale, coming out of this. Exhale, twisting over to the other side. Really try to bring the back of your shoulder on the floor and not your ear on the floor but the back of your neck if this doesn't feel comfortable to you stay in child's pose inhale coming out of this back into downward facing dog inhale right leg comes up exhale right foot between the hands inhale lift over your head exhale twist left elbow right knee inhale you can 
spread your arms open either stay here or you can clasp your hands behind you try to find a comfortable clasp and once you clasp peel your torso off of your right thigh open your chest drop your shoulders down look ahead of you and step your back foot in stepping onto your left foot come up to standing still holding your leg and extend that right foot in front of you with a twist slowly reversing the movement step all the way back I actually lost it but it doesn't matter you just continue with it I lost a little bit of my balance and that is the whole point you just come back to your breath and let's unclasp bring one hand down on the floor one up towards the ceiling and let's transition into side crawl look ahead of you split your legs step back lunge open your arms out high lunge come up open your arms out holding your lunge extend the tailbone slightly down pull your belly in exhale hands on the floor step back plank lower down chaturanga inhale upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog inhale left leg comes up exhale left foot between the hands inhale come up high lunge hands over the heart twist breathe press the back heel away from you be aware of your back leg your right leg it should be firing up and let's extend one hand on the floor one up towards the ceiling next step optional is to clasp your hands behind you bound lunge with a twist and let's step the right foot to the front of the mat and begin to slowly come up standing on your right leg begin to straighten the left leg in front of you look back over your left shoulder twisting here slowly reverse the movements lower down and step back into bound twist lunge and you can extend one hand up and one down optional next level is to go into side crawl or you can stay in the previous lunge pose and again reversing the movement coming to high lunge open the arms out to the sides pull the belly in press the back heel away from you fire up the right leg exhale both hands on the floor stepping back plank and let's bring the knees on the floor open them out plant your hands on the floor and sit back without moving your hands here extended puppy pose you're gonna spread your fingers open and really press your fingers down into your mat and try to sit back without actually moving your hands to in order to stretch fully the spine and you can lower your chest down towards the floor for a back bend great coming out of this back to downward facing dog allowing the head to hang heavy relaxing the neck let's come on to the tippy toes and jump into forward bend take chair pose sit back inhale come up to standing and let's Standing on the left leg, we're gonna bring the right foot in half lotus and if you can go to the next level and wrap your right arm behind you and around grabbing the big toe and the next level is going into a forward bend you can see in the previous level if you're in forward bend try to relax your breath and deep and your pose on an exhalation really try to connect to your breath having awareness of your 
body through your breath. To come out of this, keep your back straight, come up to standing. Lift your left arm all the way over your head. Exhale. And let's bring the right elbow up, right arm by your ear, and see if you can clasp with your left hand behind you, opening the shoulders. Release your hands out. Step down, switch sides, standing on the right side, left foot in half lotus. And let's wrap the left arm back and around to grab the big toe. Lift right hand overhead, exhale, flat back, lower down. Forward bend, breathe. There is a massaging action of your foot on the abdomen if you go deep enough in this pose, very beneficial for the internal organs, digestion, detox. Soften your breath, soften your chest, relax your back, relax your hip, inhale, look ahead of you, and let's come up to standing, try to maintain your balance here, this is definitely a challenging pose for your balance. Next, clasp your hands behind you, keep your left arm by your torso, by your ribcage as close as you can, work your elbow as close to you as you can. And you can unclasp and step back, down. Inhale, open your hands forward a few side stretches here try to keep your tailbone slightly tucked under and reach side to side those are also called, called waist trimmers they have a nice effect on the obliques continue with a few more of those inhale hands over the head sit down chair pose exhale hands on the floor forward bend can hug your legs in a forward bend if you're going deep enough here you can wrap your hands behind your legs or you can keep your hands on the floor on your shin bones always stay with your level and adjust everything for your body let your head be heavy inhale come halfway up Look ahead of you, hands on the floor or on your shin bones. Exhale, folding forward. One more time, head is heavy. Inhale, look ahead of you. And let's bring the hands on the floor and jump the feet down into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Come into side plank, left hand on the floor, right arm reaches up. Extend your right arm forward, come to, uh, to plank, chaturanga, over to the other side. Side plank, lift, reach, plank, chaturanga. And again, left side, side plank, reach, chaturanga. Switching sides, right side plank, reach, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift, side plank, reach and chaturanga. Keep going with your breath, adjust if you need to adjust your chaturangas on your knees. Chaturanga, side plank, left side. Exhale, hands on the floor. Chaturanga, right side, side plank. And chaturanga left side side plank keep going chaturanga right side plank chaturanga left lift keep your hips lifted and finish it off and we're gonna do a few jump plank jumps here 
doing a chaturanga in between each one of them you can keep your hands in star alignment and do close grip push-ups jumping feet forward and back close grip push-up jumping feet forward and back close grip push-up jumping feet back to plank close grip push-up and again jump and do push-up jump and go back into plank let's do knee tucks side to side bring in opposite knee to elbow for 10 when you're done exhale in downward facing dog spread the fingers wide open keep your shoulders away from your ears Keep your heels heavy, lowering down towards your mat. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, right foot between your hands. Inhale, come up. And let's straighten both legs. Keep your hips square. Reach with your left hand in front of you and lower down. Try to keep that length. Try to keep your hips level. Either stay here in revolving triangle pose or we're gonna deepen this and clasp the hands underneath the leg for a bound revolving triangle. Slowly coming out of this, reach with your right hand in front of you and push your right hip back and release both hands on the floor into intense side stretch, keeping the hips square keep your back heel down on the floor inhale look ahead of you hands over the heart back flat come up to standing and bring your your here you're gonna bring your right ankle right above your left knee and you're gonna come into half squat straighten your leg and forward bend great 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 hip opener inhale come up to standing keep your knee there keep your ankle over your knee and come down into a one-legged squat to come out of this go back into warrior three and step all the way back into a lunge hands on the floor jump your feet to switch your feet and come up lunge on the left side straighten your front leg bring your right hand in front of you make sure your hips are square here and lower down revolving triangle pose and you can stay here this is a really challenging pose or you can go ahead and clasp your hands behind you treading them underneath your leg try to keep your torso lifted here sides are lengthening the sides of your body and lengthening and release one hand down one up towards the ceiling let's reach with the left hand forward exhale both hands on the floor intense side stretch keeping the hips level keeping the back heel down on the floor inhale lengthen your spine exhale go a little deeper and let's bring the hands over the heart bend your front knee and come into a one-legged squat keep your right ankle just above your left knee hands on the floor straighten your leg and go into a forward bend breathe into your right hip here left hamstring this is an advanced flexibility pose and it does feel very good when you go deep into those muscles come back into one like a chair and come all the way up to standing for a few more side stretches clasp your hands and reach 
side to side twice. Exhale. When you're done, into a forward bend, and you can thread your uh, hands behind your legs and grab your shin bones. Inhale, look ahead of you. Exhale, hands on the floor. Jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And let's bring the right hand to the left ankle. Look underneath the opposite shoulder and switch. Spread the fingers open on the floor and back to downward dog. Let's release the legs down on the floor. Prepare for rabbit pose. You're gonna curl your spine here and bring the top of your head on the floor, your forehead as close to your knees as possible, holding your heels. You can roll past the top of your head to stretch the neck gently. Do not place weight onto your head. Try to keep the weight on the lower body. And if you're not familiar with this pose, just skip it all out of it and come into a plank for side cross body kicks 10 reps 5 on each side staying in plank and bringing your foot across from your body you don't have to really kick just bring your foot side to side once you're done we're gonna, gonna do skips or jumps side to side bringing the feet to the wrists side to side left to right 10 And when you're done, come into a downward facing dog and step your right foot between your hands. Come up, warrior one, open, warrior two. Let's bring the right hand up and over the head, left arm reaches down the left leg. And coming out of this, lower down in side angle. Let's bring the left arm over the head and really stretch the top of your body. Lowering down into splits, half splits, wherever you are with splits, stay there. Work on flexibility here. Even if you're very far from doing splits, you can keep your front knee bent. And slowly coming out of this, inhale left leg up, exhale left foot between your hands, come up warrior one and let's prepare for warrior two. Sink a little deeper here. Bring the left arm up and over your head. Walk your right hand down the right leg. Keep your front knee bent. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower left hand on the inside of your left foot. Side angle pose. Bring the right hand over your head towards the front of the room, really lengthening the top side of your body here. And lower down, work on your splits. Try to keep your hips square. Slowly coming out of this, all the way back into downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up, exhale, right foot between the hands and let's go into side angle. This time keep your right hand on the outside rather than the inside of your right foot and press your knee into your armpit. And transition into half moon here. Of course, you can go a little deeper with your half moon and lift your hand off the floor, balancing just on one leg. Keep your hips stacked on top of each other. 
and step back into side angle this time bring your hand on the inside of your foot both hands on the floor lower your left knee on the floor and hold here stretch your hip flexor keep your right knee behind your right ankle or above not over the toes slowly come up you can work your shoulder underneath your knee here or even your head to go a little deeper into this hip opener and let's roll on the outer edges of the feet here you may have to stop the video and just find this pose for you and let's lower the knee on the floor coming into pigeon take your time with pigeon pigeon is one of the poses that really pays off if you have the patience to hold it so if you have time and desire of course you can hold it for a minute or two or three on each side make sure your alignment is spot on your hips are square if you're not sure about your alignment try to study it Try to see how you perform the pose. Try not to hold a pose that you're not holding properly for a long time or any time. You really want to know where your hips are in space. We don't see our hips when we do yoga, especially forward bends, they're behind us. So it's good to have the awareness of space in your body, where your body is always try to be connected slowly begin to walk your hands back in towards you hands on the floor step into one legged downward facing dog a few knee circles you can bring your right knee as high as you can you can draw toe circles Breathe into your hip. And let's switch sides over to the other side. Left foot steps between the hands, side angle, left arm on the outside of the left knee. Reach over your head towards the front of the room. Open your hip, right hip on top of the left. Lengthen both sides of your torso. And let's step forward into half moon. Flex your back foot. Try to open your hips. I'm again challenged by the bright sun. Balancing is really difficult when you can't open your eyes. And slowly go back into the side angle. Really try to lengthen the top side of your body. Bring both hands on the floor and lower down. Breathe. Really try to maintain a calm, deep, even breath. Keeping the hips level, lower down, keeping the 
spine elongated, rib cage lifted. And coming back to our breath. Exhaling through your hips. With each exhalation, feel as if your body is melting, melting into your mat, you're becoming less solid and more fluid. These are all mental images that can help you with flexibility. Visualization is a great way to improve your athletic performance. Slowly begin to walk your hands back in towards you. Come up to one legged downward facing dog. Staying off of your left leg, draw circles with your toes, with your knee. Keep your shoulders aligned. Step it back down. Let's come on to the tippy toes, lower down and drop your knees on the floor. Here I'm going to demonstrate this one time and then we're going to do it two more times. So I'm doing it three times so that you can see this pose is real unusual. So I'm going to grab my same side leg with my same side hand, right hand, right foot and roll back down into a form of a plow and open the left leg out to the side roll onto my the back of my neck hold it and then come out of it that was just a demonstration now we're gonna do it first on the left side and then on the right again left hand left foot then you're gonna open your right leg out to the side and begin to roll on the back if you find the balance here you shouldn't roll over if you are not comfortable with plows keep this pose if you're not sure how to do it skip it maybe watch it a few times or re uh, try to read about it or try to practice plow for a while Coming out of it, going into a side stretch. You can just reach with your hand up in the air or grab your foot. And coming out of this, we're going to go over right hand, right foot. Grab your foot from the inside and open your left leg out holding both feet, one knee is bent, one straight. You can eventually straighten them both, but here we're just doing it with one right knee bent, left leg straight. Slowly rolling out of it, stretching the inner thighs, side stretch, seat it. One more stretch on the, for the adductors and come back onto all fours, sit back, child's pose. Inhale, coming out of child's pose. Let's come into a seated. Feet parallel to each other, hip width apart, come into a tabletop. Slowly lower down and let's come down onto our backs. Bridge. 
clasp your hands underneath you and begin to work your chest towards your chin, really extending the tailbone towards your knees here. Keep your feet parallel to each other, you can lift your toes off the floor, press into all four corners of each foot. Keep working the chest open. When you lower down from this pose, lower down one vertebra at a time and you can go into a supine twist. Switching sides. Keep your shoulders down on the floor. Happy baby. Holding the outer edges of the feet here. Pressing the knees down by the rib cage. You can rock side to side. Let's grab the back of the knees here and begin to rock back and forth a few times making the rocking bigger and bigger so that you're coming all the way up and rocking all the way back massaging your spine up until you come up into a seated let's bring the right foot into the left inner thigh reach up and over either hold your foot or just reach over your head a side stretch and now face your foot and lower down over your leg same thing over to the other side left foot in the right inner thigh side stretch forward bend open the legs out lower down wide legged forward bend keep your kneecaps lifted feet are flexing relax your hamstrings you can stay here or you can reach side to side as well these are all optional depending on your level of flexibility you have to have some familiarity with these poses before you attempt to do them. And the next final hip opener is stacking the knees on top of each other. Work your feet as close to as you can. And once your feet are close to you, flex them and fold forward. You can stay up if folding forward is not an option for you. And just breathe. Come out of it and switch sides. You're gonna bring the other, the opposite knee on top this time, close to you, folding forward, breathing. Breathe into your hips. This is another way to stretch the hips. So keep your breath conscious. Inhale, come up. gonna go in full lotus here if you're not familiar with full lotus of course you can just do half lotus on one side and then half lotus on the other just to work your way into lotus the next is we're gonna work on peacock hands pointing back at your knees and lift off your body off the floor hold for a second come out of it stretch folding forward inhale come up lift over to one side stretch over the other side side stretches and let's unwrap the legs half lotus on one side and fold forward forward bend inhale come up and over to the other side lift 
exhale folding forward inhale come up exhale release and we can finish off with lotus meditation either stay in lotus or you can recline down and even lift on your elbows fish pose or modified fish pose bringing the crown of the head on the floor and lowering down and either stay in lotus or make yourself comfortable in shavasana namaste